Right. Um, I'm attempting to, I attempted to separate um, this, this came off. That was where the old radiator was attached to there. And it's too close to the wall, this pipe, for plastering, so I wanted to shorten it. So I attempted to fit an isolation valve uh, so I can just get on with things without having to drain the system because I'm not a plumber. I just wanted to, uh, I didn't want, I don't know what to do basically. So I thought I'd get an isolation valve on because I've had some success before. Um, I took a punt on which pipe to freeze because both of these, as you can see, it comes from the left and the right into the feed up to the radiator. Both pipes seem to get as warm at the same time. I haven't got many radiators because I've got underfloor heating, so I don't know if that's anything to do with it, but I just couldn't tell. Took a punt, went for the left hand side, and I've seen another video on YouTube about using canned air. So there it is uh, from the pound shop. However, it's the, what's the date now? I think it's the 18th of August 2020, and uh, I went back for some more, and they've stopped selling it in the one that I went to, but it was just a pound. I got some. Uh, Insulation foam, 15 millimeter insulation for the 15 millimeter pipe. You've got a twist tie, uh, not a twist tie, a cable tie on either end, and I tape the I tape the hole shut as well. The, I tape the gap shut with some is it, uh, is it gaffer tape, and uh, I just made a little hole, push the uh, red straw into the um, jacket of the insulation. Uh, aimed to, for it to touch the pipe and I just slowly sprayed it in. Uh, I think it probably would be best if I did it again if I taped the whole um, insulation jacket with this white tape because uh, as I was spraying it you could see it leaking out and you'd keep more in if you taped it. But uh, both ends of these have got cable, but the other end's got a cable tie on as well, as tight as I could get it. And I just slowly filled it um, uh, with and also you use this upside down because you don't want the air, you want the propellant and the air, when it's upside down, the canned air, the air's on top and it expands pushing the propellant out. And when the propellant hits the pipe, uh, it evaporates, cooling it down, endothermic reaction, I believe. And um, I waited for five minutes. It seemed to not have frozen. I started to loosen this pipe that was attached. Uh, and you see this part that was attached has started to loosen um, started to loosen this this end here and water started coming out so I tightened up again waited five minutes and, and um, then I just had another go a little bit of water came out seemed a little bit different not quite as much so I just went with it loosened it completely lifted out this piece and then you could see the flow slowly stopping so after about five minutes and um, by the way it's oh, it must be about 23 degrees 24 degrees inside the house now um, and uh, yeah it just stopped so I seized my chance and got this uh, isolation valve on I made sure it was shut so it's closed now uh, I think closed it, you can tell it's always these valves, you know, they're always closed, I believe, because the uh, that line goes across the pipe. So you can see it, that's the direction of the pipe and it goes across it. And I know it's shut uh, as well because I checked it uh, visually. Um, I believe the, um, I think about by now, the um, video has been, it's been about 15 minutes now since I froze that. I'm going to loosen this screw and see if it's still frozen. Yeah, still frozen. So 15 minutes later, it's still frozen. I waited five minutes for it to freeze. So I've had 10 minutes now to mess about with the pipe. Um, I'm sure it's on pretty tight, uh, can't move that, and what else can I tell you, I think that might be it, 
Like I say, there's another video on YouTube. I got the idea from them. But that is a pound. And what this insulation? Not pound. So don't buy um, Arctic spray for what is it? Ten to fifteen pounds for the can, and if you need the complete kit, twenty pounds. Just get some air can there. It's uh, I think I've seen it for about eight pounds now in on the internet. But if you can find it in the pound shop, well. You know how much it is. Um, let's give it another turn. If I remember, I'll come back to it and post again to let you know how long it lasted. There we go.